Hey everyone, it's Cindy and I am working on prompt two, which we had to use three, at least three items on three different pages. And the items were um, words, numbers, something blue, something that flies, something round, a woven pattern, or doodles. So, okay, um, just digging through my stuff and thinking what do I want to use, and that sort of thing. And I came up with this index card, uh, pretty sure this is one that my daughter did. We were playing around with the uh, jelly, um, Prints, jelly prints? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, um, so an index card she did, and I really like the colors, and it kind of has something around. I'm, it's not completely around, so I don't know if that would count or not, but, and I'm not sure it would count as blue because it's more teal, but anyway, I'm using that as my base, and then I've got some words here from Happiness and Crafting, uh, G. Kerr. It says, Happiness is homemade, handmade, and then one of the butterflies I made on a couple of videos back, and it's got this perfect green for this these words and this scrap of fabric I found there so I'm going to glue those on so that gives me words something that flies I found a scrap of napkin I thought well because see this is tissue paper on music paper I thought well I can just glue this napkin on this edge here and then just give it a little bit something else I have another um, thing that flies and then I also have this blue tab I want to put on there so that gives me a couple of them so first of all let's put this uh, napkin on there and I'm just going to use my glue stick and we're going to see how well it works um, I'm not going to get the Mod Podge out even though it's sitting right here just don't want to make that big of a mess right now I'm trying to clean up messes instead of uh, create more so this is a very wet stick so we should have a good pretty good look with it okay I'm just going to get this corner lined up because it's got a straight edge and there's a straight edge on this right side. Kind of get that lined up and then we'll go from there. I overshot the glue a little. Um, yeah, I got baby wipes nearby. How do you know? First time ever, I think. Try to wipe some of that up. Okay, that can be drying a little while we are um, working on this. I'm going to use my journal as a correspondence journal and kind of also a combination ideas journal. So I will put a tag or something in here that says what the prompt is. And um, like on this first prompt, I have plenty of room to write what the prompt is. And then um, well, I want to use this correspondence journal. So if I get a letter or something, I can put it in the pockets. So I'm not going to make a lot of tags for the pockets. Just at least one to tell what the prompt is. Okay. So anyway, here's this card, index card. And I'm going to, let's see, that butterfly here. I don't really want to cover this up too much because I really like it. So, And I'm just thinking... Okay, maybe we'll put this on first. I've got Fabri-Tac here. I'm going to piece um, these videos together. We're supposed to do three pages, so this is page one. And I will do the other two pages and then upload it as one video. I just don't want to tape it all at once because I don't have the other two pages figured out. And um, I can just do three different videos and then piece them together. So I'm just going to angle that a little bit. So we have room for that butterfly. This is a butterfly I made from a punch. I punched out a black butterfly and just glued some uh, green tissue paper behind him. So got to make sure we can see that H and happiness. Okay. And put that lid on there. Okay, so we're going to glue this on here. And... Um, I don't think it'll hurt to glue it on. Well, it might. I'm going to glue that on there. <laughs> I may not get it done in this video. Um, so because I don't want to glue the pocket down. Okay. I kind of wanted these two pages to kind of coordinate a little bit, so I think the pinks and the napkin work well. I just hope that's been on. Yep, been on the frame. Okay, so anyway, got this done. I'm just going to glue it here when this dries, and then I will see you in one second in the next video. So thanks for watching. Bye. All right, I'm here to attempt my third page. Um, 
I went ahead in the journal and picked this blue paper. Since, you know, we have to do something blue, I'm gonna do it on the blue paper. Um, I thought about using this little um, slow stitch patch here and the blue butterfly, the one that's black with the blue tissue paper on it, kind of at the top. And I thought about maybe putting, since I have some of these old, um, they're not, I don't know how old this is. It's not it's extremely vintage, but it looks vintage because of the way it's just deteriorated because of the acid in the air. So I thought maybe I'd put that behind the whole thing or at least part way. Just maybe a little bit, maybe quite so much. So that would give me some words. It may not be the words they were thinking about, but it's the words I'm gonna use. So maybe something like that. And then also I thought I have this, I went to get my stencils and I have this stamp that is butterflies. So I thought I'm just gonna kind of do a little, little bit of stamping as a background stamp of butterflies. So there we have something blue again, plus um, things that fly. And this is a large stamp and I'm not so great at using those. So we'll see how it goes. I need, actually a paper under here okay so let's see how this looks ah uh, that's under here too the lid thank you see what i mean not very good about stamping so let's get a different one so maybe we can cover that so it's not so bad yeah this stamp it's a great idea, all those butterflies, but it's hard to execute, so for me it is. Okay, there we go with that. And then for the pocket element that I want here, I found this piece of paper out of this Stargazer four by six pack, four and a half by six and a half pack. <laughs> I bought it a long time ago, and I thought the colors went real well with the fabric. So I'm gonna use my three and a half inch circle punch with the scallops to punch it out. And that's gonna be my pocket element down here. And I wanted to put this bird on here. It's kind of big, but if I use it as a tuck, it shouldn't matter. But he really doesn't go too well. I'm not sure what to put on this pocket. Um, yeah. What do I have? I have more butterflies, flowers. I have a ton of flowers. I showed them the other day. Maybe some different colors on this page. I don't know, I cut this bird out and I'm just having trouble. Hard time using him. I just don't know how, what to do with him. I think my friends saw my pitiful portfolio and that's when they decided to send me another one. I just opened it up today so I haven't had a chance to move anything over. But I need to work this bird into this. I like that pop of green. It's hard to kind of see that thing with my background. Yeah, I think he's gonna be on the next page. Let's see what else I've got over here. I know this is off frame. <laughs> this is too big to some pages are in good shape, some aren't. That doesn't really work. Yeah. This is why I planned way ahead. I just don't know what to do about that. circle we got that flower and we're gonna put always be lovely over it and it's gonna be a tuck yeah that's what we're gonna do I don't have anything glued down to it okay the slow stitching on here is actually done with green thread that matches a little bit this right here so I'm sure that's not showing up in the video
it up. I have a punch that cuts these out. Probably just some scrap paper. this will be on it and half will be part of the tuck. And the bird is still over there waiting to be used. I'm just getting to the point where I'm just not, I don't know about birds. Oh, and I also did not glue this in yet, so let's get that glued in. Put it in as a pocket. Okay. So that's that page to stick down and then the next one was this which <laughs> it's got that background stamping which I'm not real happy with and this will be a tuck and that's the topper so anyway we'll go on to next uh, next page sorry I'm off frame this is the third uh, part of this challenge for me I said in the other video it was page three but it's actually page two I'm going to use this one I think as my page three and I'm definitely Going to use that bird and I want to use a woven pattern on this now I've made a lot of these woven pockets before so um, that's what I want to include since I you know it's kind of I've made a few before this one I'm going to make with a ribbon and I found this ribbon that has great coloring that goes with the bird I've never made it a half page before so this will be interesting to see if it works out you'll never know if it doesn't I have blue ink all over me so you'll see it smeared everywhere oh I do want to show you on the um, second page um, I did um, two things after we I filmed it I added this napkin because it kind of covered up where I just didn't do a very good job with that background stamp so I added that and it's got another bird on there so we're covered on the things that fly and I also uh, kind of finished out some of the stamping so it didn't look quite so um, blockish or something so anyway I think that adds a little bit to that page so anyway back to this one okay um, pocket so normally when I do this I fold a page in half and cut the slits this time um, I already fold it in half and I glued it so it would have extra thickness and it's going to be a little hard to fold like this to cut the um, slits, but I think we can do it. So basically you just cut from one to the other and don't cut all the way through. And you can go back out later and if you say, oh, that needs to go further down or something, you can do that. So we just fold it in half and just kind of cut some lines. And you can make them straight if you want. I like them when they're not so straight. And I think there's probably a formula whether it needs to be even or odd, but... You know, I don't know what it is. So anyway, then you just take your ribbon and you just weave it back and forth. If you can grab a hold of it, you can. And then if you decide, you know, hey, I need it, um, like my ribbon's not close enough to the bottom, you can turn the bottom off or whatever, so. And we'll go back and um, I'll cut it off, but we'll glue it down and trim it after we finish. I've had this ribbon in my stash, I can't even tell you. I'm sure we're going on at least the second decade, so I'm glad to get it used up. So this is leftover from the scrapbooking days. You know, I may have to glue this down as we go. I think I will. Leftover from the scrapbooking days, just never got used. This is so slippery because of that ribbon that I'm going to glue it down as we go. And we'll trim it off uh, later. Push it all the way down. It's definitely not straight. That's fine. I don't want it to be straight. one 
as you get closer to the top it gets a little bit harder you don't have as much room to work with so you just have to kind of work it around till you get it and this is the on this next row is when we might have to make our slits just a little bit bigger to accommodate one more roll of ribbon try to push it down as far as I can flat. okay now See, I don't have enough room to get another one in, but I do have room at the top to make it larger, so I shall do that. I could have, if I wanted to, just done done a whole page like I normally do, then cut it in half for a pocket. And if I thought it wasn't um, sturdy enough, I could have just glued a paper on the back because I'll probably do that anyway. Because when you put something in these pockets, it catches on that ribbon on the back if you're not careful. my husband leaving <laughs> leaving the house slamming the door at least that's better than leaving it open the door open okay now I'm going to go back and trim these up okay there's my woven element now um, let's see I think it needs ink but you know what I don't have any of the distress ink here. I mean the you know vintage photo. I still had the pink from some project the other day, that first one. So we'll just use it. We gotta try to figure out how to get that bird to look good on this. Also I gotta decide whether I need um if I need that um backing. We we'll probably do. So let's see. What do I have? I got some cardstock down here by my knee. Just like that. A lot of glue. I gotta hold the ribbon in place. Give it a smooth back. A lot of sturdier. I always have the rough edges. I always just leave them. I like the rough edges of the book pages. So you can see where they were torn out. going there. We're going to do with the bird. <laughs> he's hiding because he knows he's had it. <sighs> There's the bird. Just put him just like that. Try to make something else work on the page. I don't know. Woven element, thing that flies. Um, did I have something blue from this page? <laughs> oh yes, I know what else I was going to do. Okay, this crazy bird. I'm just gluing him in the corner. I don't want to cover up the ribbon too much, so he's just gonna go in the corner. Whether it looks good or not, that's where he's going. So. Okay, now we're gonna glue this pocket on. Now for the top of the page, 
I thought about words, I thought about numbers. Um, so I thought, oh, you know what? I've got a whole bunch of these um, stacked stickers that I made a while back that you just put um, bits and pieces on top of a blank label or blank sticker or as in the 4-H ones right here. I didn't necessarily want the 4-H stuff, so I just covered it up. So I thought, surely I can find one here that will work. These two right here both have words on them, so I'm still holding down this bird. Um, there's one that's not too bad. It's actually kind of pretty. Um, but it doesn't have a word on it. So, let's see. And, okay. Maybe one of these two, since it has a word. We'll do remember. Okay, just peel it off, stick it on there. You can put something behind it if you want. I don't really want it because this page is pretty simple because of that crazy bird. But we have the bird, <laughs> something that flies, something woven, and a word. Um, I also have circles here, so that counts too. And there's circles in the ribbon, so I think we're safe. I think I'm going to ink this whole page, though. It just needs something to kind of unify it, I think. I talk like I know what I'm being mean by that. Just something to kind of... I don't know. Deal with all the blank spots that are still on here. I don't think I have any more napkin I can just throw on there. Okay, we're calling it done. So this is the uh, my prompt two, which is, uh, you know, using a variety of these elements, at least three. Here's the first one. Here's a pocket. It's got words and something that flies in blue. And then the second one was on the blue page with the blue stamps of butterflies and flower, I mean a bird there and a butterfly there. Lots of blue going on here and then we have a tuck here. Um, words. Third one, word. Circles everywhere. Something that's woven and something that flies. So, okay. There we go. <laughs> um, take a little break and we'll have number three by the time I get this one uploaded because I'm late doing my prompt number two. But um, I'll be looking forward to the third one. See y'all later. Bye.